but do you have intelligence as regards the exact location now? You, you talked about them being by the dam. Yes. Is that where the girls are? We have done our best. We provided the necessary information to the establishment, telling them where we feel they are. Because the thing is that these girls, they are unique in wherever location they are found in. One, they don't speak the language of the locals within. The protection they are given is different from the others. So people come to accept the fact that these girls are this, and they are protected. They are not allowed to move around the way other uh, hostages move. Let me ask this question. Around that San Bisafra, there are other communities that live around there. Yes. Are they still living there? Or a lot of them, sad? yes, a lot. Even with the Boko Haram um, yes. movement around there, the community is still yes. living there. So is it the communities that help you with the information as regards their movement? And how safe are they? Well, they are safe. They are safe. And we've told, uh, once in a while we tell them, the Air Force operates frequently within the area, please do not drop bombs within this area because most of these girls are staying under trees now. That is the information we have, and that is the information we passed across. So this news, or what the Boko Haram leader was said in that video, that some of the girls were killed by um, Air Force bombardment, what's your reaction to that? Well, as a former air defense officer, I cannot say I doubt what they said. Because when you drop bombs, you cannot imagine the radius at which it explodes. It depends upon the, the surface it lands. So it, it could happen. I can't rule that out. And the fact remains that at the end of the day, these things will come to light. Because you will definitely know that certain things happened and these were the reasons or the causes of uh, what happened behind. So for me, I cannot say it is a lie, but it's a 50-50 issue.